Hi everybody, I want to introduce a brand new template that I just finished. I'm actually going to put it up for sale for uh, people to look something, you know, looking to put out applications that are different from games. Game Salad doesn't offer that many of them at the moment, but um, it's definitely something to look at. Uh, you know, games are very popular, but they're also extremely, extremely uh, competitive. And uh, getting yourself out there uh, is very difficult. So, you know, coming up with a something in a different category is definitely the way to go. So I created a recipe uh, template which uh, implements the uh, scrolling menu that you would see in iPhone applications and uh, you know uh, games uh, as, as you know kind of like that so you can see here you got an interface here this game is built with um, over 50 uh, scenes um, for each individual recipe itself uh, the great part about this application here is you don't have to touch any of the frames at all to edit it none whatsoever um, I'm going to be including a header graphics. You can update the header uh, you know, in here with the image that you want. And um, all the recipes and the labels are actually put in through the tables, which is just easy to edit. And um, you can completely do that. I'll have an instructional video that comes with the template uh, when it's purchased to show you exactly the quickest way to update that. Uh, so let's take a look at the application now and see uh, the functions of it and see if this template actually is something that uh, you may be interested in. So again, it's a recipe application. As you can see here, it, we've got our scrolling menu. User would use their finger, scroll up and down, and the recipe that they want, uh, they would crawl it into the lighted area. Let's say, let's say we go to occasion. Let's go down a little further. Let's go to the, this one right here. So you see here, it takes us right to the menu. Uh, I mean, excuse me, the recipe itself. Scroll up and down, you have the instructions. Again, you use your finger to uh, scroll the information, um, you know, the ingredients, and then the instructions how to put it together. Um, so, you know, this is what the user would get. And uh, I added some other functions to it as well. Uh, one thing here, as you notice, is a little bookmark icon. So you click on this, and it'll actually bookmark this particular recipe for the user. So they don't have to research and search it down um, you know, through the scrolling menu. They can just go to the main screen here. And you can see here it's lit up, letting them know that they did bookmark a uh, recipe. They click it, and it takes them right back to the recipe that they were working on, which is a great feature. And I've, I've done some research in the um, App Store and noticed that apps that do not, recipe apps that do not have this, uh, you know, people are, uh, are saying that they want, you know, sort of leaving bad reviews because that function's missing. Um, another thing that I've added here is uh, for notes. Uh, so let's say if somebody's going to the grocery store and they need a reminder to pick up, I don't know, some, some bread and hot sauce. So they would enter that in. And again, um, you know, this actually would, uh, would, would save it. I don't know if that's uh, spelling it correctly. But, you know, you get the point. So anyways, it, it saves the information here and saves the note for next time. So you hit done and, you know, say like a day or two uh, they need to go, they can check it and everything will still be there. So, uh, you know, that's how that works. Okay. And so here, and uh, this one here, what I added here was another feature here. So if anybody's having any problem with it, you know, you want to try to prevent uh, negative uh, feedback. And this is the way to sort of... Uh, um, stop that before it happens. It's to let them know. Said, oh, if you have any issues, contact us before you leave a review type thing. And this here, it'll take you to a website, which I have set up for mine to take them to a website where they can, you know, you know, sort of let me know of anything that's wrong with it so I can fix it. And and, and you know, before they leave a negative review. So again, this is a recipe application. Uh, this one's loaded with over. 50 recipes at the moment, but let me show you where all the uh, information is actually stored. You can see here, here's the table here, and this is the heart of the app itself. This is where you enter in all the information. So here you have the main recipe information. You can't see it here now, but what I found works best is actually taking the recipe, saving it to a text file, copying it and pasting it back in. What I find is you get the best sort of layout, a spacing, um, paragraphs, everything. It works phenomenal when you do it that way. It's an extra step, but it's well worth it. And right here you have the label names, those are the ones you saw in the scrolling menu, and basically you just change that information and it plugs it right into the application automatically for you. You don't have to touch any of the frames. 
quick way to make apps. You can make dozens and dozens and dozens of these applications and people want them. They're very popular. Um, you know, so definitely an application to look at. I hope you guys like it. I hope it's uh, something that you're going to want to use. And I look forward to, uh, you know, having you guys uh, enjoy the application that I made for you.